Here in this lesson, we construct a histogram using data on salaries. The data analysis toolbox in Excel is introduced, which will often be used across various courses in this specialization. We begin constructing a histogram in Excel by opening the data file in Excel that contains the salaries of CEOs. The file is named CEO Salary Small Forms. This file contains the salary is in units of $1,000 and we wish to create a histogram for plot for the salary column. We begin doing that by clicking on data and then data analysis. However, before that, if you do not see the icon data analysis when you click on data, you need to make sure that the icon is added to your spreadsheet. And this is how you do it. You go to File, Options, Add-ins. At the bottom, you go to Manage Excel Add-ins, click on Go, and make sure that the Analysis Tool Pack and the Analysis Tool Pack VBA both are checked. And then do an OK. After that, you may have to close your worksheet and open it again. And now when you click on data, you should be able to see the icon data analysis. However, before I click data analysis, I need to set up my bins. Remember a histogram shows the relative frequency of observations across a set of bins. So let me introduce my bins by labeling a particular column as bins. And now I'll put down my bins in this column. The bins should be so set up that all the data gets represented under one bin or another. So I begin by putting in a zero there. My bin interval I'll choose to be $75,000. So the next number I put for my bins is 75. So my bin, first bin goes from zero to 75 and I'll use the same bin interval a spread of $75,000 in the salary. So I can copy and paste it all the way down. I select it and keep dragging it. Notice my bins are increasing to 525, 675. Let me drag it and stop at 1050, $1.05 million. So this is my set of bins. Why did I stop at 1050? No particular reason, I could have gone further. Next, I go to data analysis. So data, data analysis. Scroll up and down till I find histogram. Do an okay. So I'm, I'm instructing Excel to construct a histogram using this dialog box, This using this data analysis dialog box. I do an okay. I need to specify where my input range is the data that I wish to plot in a histogram. So I wish to plot the salary data. So my input range is in column B and notice Excel gives you an option of choosing labels. So if I choose this option, what I'm instructing Excel is that the very first data point in my range, in my input range is a label. So I've chosen, it's a good practice to choose labels whenever an option is provided. So I Put my cursor in the input range, select my data including the very first observation which is a label, salary in $1,000 and select my entire column there all the way to B60. Next I need to specify my bin range. Where are my bins? And once again since I have made an option, I have chosen the option of using labels the bin range also should begin with a label. And that is the reason why we labeled our bins with the word bins. So I select my bin range, cell D1 through D16. Output options, you have a couple of output options. You can either put the output in a empty cell within the existing worksheet, or you could also put it in a new worksheet. Let us choose the current worksheet, an empty cell in the current worksheet. So I put my cursor there and then select any empty cell on the worksheet. 
F2. And then important thing, you need to make sure that you check the chart output box. If you do not check that box, a histogram will not be plotted. And once you've done that, now let's do an OK. So Excel has now produced a histogram. I could stretch this histogram up a little bit. Maybe get rid of this legend title frequency. Add a title for my horizontal axis. CEO salaries in thousands. And I get back the histogram that we had seen earlier. A few observations before we close this lesson. The table that gets produced next to the histogram is also known as a frequency table. It tells me the distribution of the number of observations across those spins. For example, there are two CEOs with salaries in excess of zero dollars and less than or equal to $75,000. Similarly, there are nine CEOs with a salary greater than $300,000, but less than or equal to $375,000. And there is a single CEO with salary in excess of $1.05 million. One final point about setting up your bins. How big a bin interval should I choose? In this example, I chose a bin interval of $75,000, but as a general practice, there is no one particular rule in choosing your bin interval. However, you should choose bins such that you get a good visual representation of the data. Too many a bins lead to bad histograms. Too few a bins also lead to bad histograms. So try out a different set of bins and go along with the bin interval or the set of bins that gives you the best visual representation.